Hello everybody, this is my second video on this little tutorial uh, on how to insert a YouTube player inside an Excel spreadsheet and make it dynamic. Uh, in this video I will construct the skeleton of this little application. Uh, first select a cell inside the data, then go to the insert tab click table and inside the create table box click OK. The table is created then personally I'd like to change the style uh, to this one. Now a very important thing to do is select the cells inside the table under the description label and then click into the name box and we give them a name video list uh, after that select a cell inside the G column and uh, go to data in the data tools select data validation inside the menu select data validation inside the data validation box select list and then we type the name of the data of our table um, let's give to this cell some format it is uh, the fact that we have assigned a name to this range of, of cells it's a very important because uh, in that way uh, when we want to uh, create a new uh, description uh, and a new link the data validation list is dynamic and it automatically updates um, this is a very great improvement because uh, without this little trick to uh, construct a data validation list, uh, a, a dynamic data validation list requires a complicated offset, uh, name it formula, or maybe uh, an, uh, an index in, the, in, a con in, a, in a reference context. Um, and it's much more complicated to do. Uh, for this improvement, we have to give a, a big thanks to uh, Mr. Excel, Bill Jelen, that uh, introduced this improvement in uh, his podcast uh, 1632. Um, after we have created the, uh, the data validation uh, list, we need a VLOOKUP that points inside our table. and uh, we have to uh, extract extract a link from the second column so we type 2 and then we make an exact match uh, at this point it is very important to give this cell uh, to this cell a name uh, go to the name box and type link after that we can we can move this cell out of our way we don't need the cell anymore um, the last thing to do is to uh, go to the developer tab uh, insert controls active uh, active x controls more controls find the shockwave object 
insert it the procedure it's the same that we have already seen seen in uh, uh, the previous video and uh, at this point the last thing to do uh, is uh, to select the uh, the shockwave object with the design mode icon highlighted click properties um, inside the property windows uh, find the name property and uh, change it to player and now we are ready to the last step uh, which is to uh, insert uh, the VBA code some VBA, uh, some VBA code inside uh, this, uh, this spreadsheet to make it dynamic but that will be the argument of uh, the next video so see you to the next video